pay is buried down here. We'll be on headwaters sitting down here at the beach this morning. Got here about five o'clock. It was a really beautiful sunrise. Want to do a little surf fishing. Unfortunately, the winds are really strong coming out of the east, 10, 15, 20 miles an hour. And we also have an outgoing tide, which is the wrong time as far as ideal for fishing. You want to catch an incoming tide. So uh, between the wind and the surf and all that, it's been a little bit challenging day. We've got on some catfish. That's about it. But what I want to cover though is if you want to get into surf fishing, it's really simple, basic things. You don't need to spend a ton of money. So let's go ahead and cover the gear real quick. From a rod standpoint, 10, 12, 14 foot. We've got a 12, 13 foot here on this one. Uh, this is a big, big rod here. That's just gonna help you get more distance on your cast out there. Running 6,000 series reels, 8,000 reels. Either way you can go. Uh, 20 pound test on these rods and I'm running a Pompano rig on both of them. So Pompano rigs or double loopers or whatever you wanna call them, um, basically have a little cork here that's going to help float the bait up got a little red bead to kind of track for color number two hook and we've got uh, sand flea on this one along with a piece of fish bites which i'll show you here in just a second and then you have a second rig up the same thing up here so it's a good idea to use different baits one at the top one at the bottom see which one they're tending to go for and then help run both of them on there three ounce pyramid sinker uh, was a little light today for out here in this mess um, so really need a little bit heavier one. So I would get some, you know, three ounce sinkers, maybe some fours, some fives, something a little bit heavier. Uh, that way when you do run into rough waters, you can keep your weight out there and keep your line out there. Uh, moving on from there though, it's really simple. Uh, we got our rods, sand spike, real simple, as a cut edge, it's gonna spike into the sand. And that way you can go ahead and set your rod in it. That way it's nice and easy to work as far as changing your baits out. Or if you just want to put your rod, if we got a calm day, in the sand spike, let it sit up there and wait for a fish. So that's definitely something that's uh, helpful. So you want to have that. You don't have to run out and get a fishing cart right away like we have here. Um, this one here is nice because we, you know, cooler. You're going to find over time, if you get really into the whole surf fishing thing, there's going to be more and more things you're going to want to bring with you. But uh, again, not a necessity right out of the gate. When it comes to what you need, we talked about pompano rigs. That's pretty much all we ever use. Um, I don't really do single hook rig ups anymore. Just pompano rigs work. They, everything is going to get caught on them that you're going to want. Your whiting, your sheep's head, your um, grunts, croakers, uh, redfish. Just pretty much everything's going to jump on those. Uh, so uh, when it comes to if you're tying your own rigs, which I do a lot of, we'll tie our own, and I'll do a video on this as far as how to tie your own double loop of rigs here once you've got them tied up just take your pool noodle cut it down cut a slit in it drop your weight in and then wrap your line around and then just stick your hooks in there that keeps all the hook points out of the way so there's no way you can hook yourself so uh, makes it nice and easy so there's one little quick tip when it comes to what it, all right so what else do we need it all comes down to real simple fish bites and they also make a brand called Fish Gum. I just always use Fish Bites. They come in lots of different flavors. They come in shrimp, they come in clam, sand flea. They come in different color patterns. Electric chicken, which is green and pink. You got straight up pink. And we got orange and white. And uh, so that, that's about it. I mean, this is probably the, your best all around go-to bait. And if you can't find sand fleas, this is still gonna work out. Um, sand, sand fleas, let's see. Uh, got one in my extra one here if you don't know what they look like this is what a sand flea sand flea looks like they're kind of a funny looking little creature flip them over got little legs there and all we're going to do is take our take our hook come in from the back end hook it up in there bring your hook through and then let them go and, that, and that's going to get get you onto the fish for sure so uh, we'll go ahead and show you how to catch sand fleas in another video but really that's it outside of a pair of needle nose pliers you want to make sure you get aluminum something that's not going to rust on you because with all the salt spray coming up salt water things do tend to rust really quick so make sure you have something that's going to hold up to the salt and then just a little pair of scissors and we use that just for cutting our, our uh, fish bites there yep. trying to get away from this wind is playing havoc today but when we cut the fish bites basically they come in strips like this and all I'll do is take and cut a piece off about yay long. The reason you cut them, there's a mesh inside, in between this outer piece and this side. There's a little mesh piece, so you do need to cut them. 
and then sometimes I'll just cut a point to cut them to a kind of a triangle just a point on the end something along those lines and uh, just works out and then you just hook them up from this end up through and you're good to go so and then you know there's no really wrong way to do it just what kind of what you try and what you like so really really simple doesn't take a lot of gear doesn't take a lot of money to get started in surf fishing and the species that you have out here are again the whiting and your croakers and your grunts and your sheep's head and you got drum you got snook you got redfish you got potentially catch a, a shark um, just you never know what you're going to get out here when you're fishing at the beach so that pretty much wraps it up you can see real simple gear nothing uh, too complicated and you can come out here and have a blast all day long so Thanks for checking out this video. See you in the next one.